all of a sudden it's just a little snap cast and I'm into what feels like a really good fish. Oh my god, yeah it is. It's a really big fish. It's a really good one. Right now I'm panicking. Hello folks, welcome back to the IB and Andy Fishing Channel. I hope you're doing really well. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be kept in touch with all the vlogs, all the reviews, all the live streams and all the other stuff that IB and I get up to in this little corner of the internet. So those of you who are currently subbed, welcome back. Nice to see you again. So I've got pretty into this small stream stuff at the start of this season. I'm really enjoying it. And it's exactly what I've come out to do today. I must admit this is a stream that I haven't fished for, oof, crikey, seven, eight years possibly. It might be that long. A river that I used to fish quite a lot but much further upstream and I've already dropped a bit of a clanger in that I've come into this with this kind of short rod light line approach doing the same kind of things that I was having to do all those years ago when I was fishing this river much further up its course. I've arrived here and actually it's a lot bigger than I was expecting and all of a sudden my seven foot two weight looks a little bit undergunned in truth this looks absolutely perfect for a bit of small stream euro nymphing. I haven't got that rod with me. I've only got one rod, so I'm going to have to make it work. I imagine predominantly with the duo, I'm going to fish a lot of duo. I've got a duo caddis, some duo clink hammers, fish a little nymph underneath there in the riffles. I'm expecting to find a few fish in the pools. And then hopefully, if there's an opportunity, we'll find a couple of rises as well. It's a beautiful day. Derbyshire looks absolutely gorgeous. The river looks great. And I'm really excited to catch a few fish on those two methods. If they don't work, I have got tucked away in one of the boxes those three micro streamers that are used in the last vlog. So if push comes to shove, it may well be that one of those has to get me out of trouble. In the meantime, I want to crack on jumping the river and we'll see if we can find a few fish. First pool of the day. Now, having very confidently said that I think we're going to spend most of the day on the duo rig, I've stepped in here, taken two or three steps into the river and found a fish rising. So I immediately switched over from that duo rig to a dry fly. I've got no idea what he's eating, so I've put a little large dark olive on at the moment, size 14 quill, large dark olive. I'm just going to see if I can get a little bit closer to him. One challenge I have found that, that might be a challenge for the whole day is that actually much of the river down here is bedrock, so it's pretty hard to find anywhere to screw the bank stick for the second camera in, so I apologise if some of the camera angles are a little bit weird. I think I'm probably close enough there. I've actually got quite a lot of space behind me. So we'll try that. Fish is somewhere up by that dry root system on our side of the river. He's not that close to it. It doesn't need to be right the way in there. Actually, the, the flow line crosses from right to left, right the way across the river. And I just wonder if actually that fish is sat in that flow line. It would be, be the logical place for a fish to sit. So I'm actually going to try and put one a bit more down the middle and see if I can find that flow line. Get my fly coming down where all the others are. Yeah, that's pretty good. Drift's nice. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there we go. That helps. So yeah, I was a little bit too far down the left. If that's the same fish, of course. Let's try this again. All of a sudden, this tree over here comes into play on the cast. Nice tight loops. That's got a chance. I don't want to get much closer than this with my feet because I risk spooking him. You can already see my ripples are going up the river. Didn't quite get that. That needs to go further right. It's actually a tricky little cast, this one, because of that, because of the tree on the opposite bank. That's good, that's perfect. Let's see if he eats that. Oh, I'd assume that's a different fish. It's quite a long way further upstream than the one I was targeting. They're quite slurpy rises. I wonder if I've got the fly wrong here. They're real rolls. I must admit, I haven't seen many flies in the air, but they're real crunches. I've gone for that large dark olive, but possibly these guys are on Granum, the early season caddis. Put a couple more drifts with this up. There could be an early fly change coming here. Righty, early change. Just put a, a size 16 CDC and elk on. Let's see if that draws a fish. Completely different profile to the olive, obviously. Yep, got it. There we go. First cast. <laughs> there we go. It was just the fly pattern. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, it's taking line off me. Go on then. I'm three and a half pound tip it so it's not like I can really wrench back. This guy's actually taking line off me. <laughs> Essentially, this is the first five minutes dry fly fishing I've done all season. That's the way to start. Still with his head down, still going. Plenty of energy. Ooh, rod tip. 
Let's try and get it a little bit further downstream. Nowhere to put the rods tip. We'll work through it. Yeah. Oh, 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 not quite. Not quite ready. Yeah, there we go. Nice, nice start. Great start. Okay, so we're not going to fuss around too much with this guy. Get him straight back. See, he's still a bit skinny. Needs a bit of a feed up. Off he goes. Let's go chase some more of those. So to be perfectly honest, folks, for the last half an hour or so, all I've been doing is fishing the duo. And uh, well, long story short, I've had no success at all. I've been really surprised because I fished some lovely water, but not had so much as a sniff. And I was just getting to the point where I was thinking, geez, I could really do with finding a riser here. And sure enough, a fish rose upstream of me just here. It might have just might have just popped again then very delicately there's a really nice bubble line that goes through this long glassy pool and there are well there is at least one fish rising in it but i'm not going to move up to that rising fish straight away because my feeling is there are probably fish between me and him i stuck with the caddis obviously because that worked the first time and i'm just gonna <laughs> he's just risen further up i'm just gonna fish the areas at the back of this pool before i work up towards that fish so the last thing i want to do is miss an opportunity in this bubble line won't take long with it four or five drifts if there's a fish down there willing to eat you'd have seen it the drifts have been okay that one's dragged a little bit but previous to that one the drifts have been pretty good so if there was a fish in there he'd have seen it and if he was going to feed i think he would have taken it so we'll just slowly creep up here i've got to be super careful because this is quite glassy try and get into some sort of position to be able to think about presenting to that riser there he is, yeah, I can cover him from here, as long as I'm careful. Plenty of room behind me. That'll do, that's spot on, you'll see that. Maybe it was a little bit too far left. The drift looked good, and the drift was absolutely fine. Maybe I was just a bit too far out of his, out of his zone with that one. Just gonna take a step across the river. Oh wow, okay. So he's a bit closer to me than I realized. I need to be careful with this, unless again this is a fish that's moving around. He's just risen much further back. And where he just rose, he'll see that. Okay. So my feeling is that this fish has seen this fly enough. I just wonder if maybe these fish have got onto the olives. We'll try. Oh, got it. Oh, no. <laughs> I contact with him for a split second. That was a big fish. Ah, dang it. So the fly was absolutely fine. I just hadn't quite found the right spot for him. I definitely pricked him though, so that's that one over. Dang it. One of the nice things about these headwater streams is you never have to go very far to find another fishy looking spot. And that's exactly what's happened. I'm only 50, 60 meters away from where I just missed that fish. This looks beautiful. I'll, I'll be honest, I've sat here for five minutes on it and watched for a rise and haven't found one. I was, I was really hoping I'd find a fish taking off the top here. There aren't lots of bugs around, but the, the fish that are looking up are very willing to feed. But in the absence of a riser, we'll go through with this duo rig. Cracking looking piece of water, this. Fully expecting there to be a trout in here for me. I'm not gonna go too far to start with. I don't wanna put the fly line over any fish early. That'll do. That's a big snag. That's the last thing I want. Going to be slowly creeping up this one. It's a bit further across than I meant that to be, but it's not in a bad area over there. It would be a real surprise if there weren't a few fish underneath here. Maybe they're a little bit further up, I don't know. Let's try that down this inside edge. I'm not sure actually if I've just seen a fish lift on the far side. It didn't rise. It looked like possibly a fish just moved in the water slightly. That goes over the area, so we'll soon find out. Okay, bit of a hail Mary. I've actually just put on one of my micro streamers that I made for the previous vlog on here. I'm just going to try and pitch this across the river towards that far bank and do something with it on the way back. It's going to absolutely suck to cast. That's pretty good. It's going to suck to cast, but it'll be interesting to see if it moves a fish. There must be fish over there. Oh, oh, oh. 
That was, oh. Oh, he swiped at it twice. Right, let's see if I can make that cast again. Definitely a fish following that. Let's drop. Oh, that got exciting. Two or three big flashes at it. Never felt any contact, that's perfect. Never felt any contact with it. Two or three big, yep, got him that time. Got him that time. He came roaring out those roots for it. That's a really good fish. I worry here, because it's a very soft rod and it's those very thick hooks. Oh wow, that is a big fish. That is a unit. I'm just praying that I've got enough hook in this thing to keep it on for a few more minutes. Oh, that is an absolute horse. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yes, what a fish. Yes, oh my goodness. The micro streamers come to the rescue. Just There just had to be a decent fish over there. And this is an absolute dinosaur of a trout real old war horse this one i bet he hasn't been bothered in that root system very often check him out what a fish beautiful trout super happy with that one let's get him back good old boy come on chap oh oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. oh yes that was that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That was freaking awesome. The whole thing about that. First off, not finding anything with the duo. Then a couple of casts prior to the take, actually getting a fish flashing at it. I knew there was a fish down there in that root system. In fact, you can see the root system just behind me there. He was in here somewhere, tucked underneath the tree. And then actually managed to get the take to stick and get that fish in the net. I mean, it's quite possible I won't catch a bigger fish than that out of this stream for the rest of this season. That's a real good one. Proper old warrior. It was just a relief, to be honest, to be able to get the hook set on that one. Because that rod is so soft. I talked about this in the previous vlog. I was missing a lot of fish, but that's perhaps reinforced my opinion that maybe the ones I was missing in the previous vlog were smaller fish. Because there was no way he was coming off. He was properly hooked. I'm not going to lie, this hasn't quite gone how I expected it to so far. I thought this was going to be all about the duo and maybe get a chance of a riser. As it is, I've had two takes on drives, one missed, one hit. That's about right for me these days. Uh, but the duo hasn't produced anything for me and then all of a sudden we've managed to find a streamer muncher. So it pays to have a couple of options in your fly boxes because I must admit what I thought was gonna work hasn't. I have found some areas where I would have loved to have had a nymphin rod with me, a nine and a half or a 10 foot nymphin rod would have been great. But I must admit, I'm also really enjoying throwing some fly line. Obviously all winter we spend all that time Euro nymphing, so it's great to get into the trout season, start throwing some fly line, making some more delicate casts, some nicer presentations. I am really enjoying that stuff. I'm going to press on. I've been here for about an hour now. I've, I've only fished for about 25 minutes because I've been doing a lot of watching and waiting for risers. I'm going to press on, see if we can find a few more as we move up the river. Just for a couple of minutes there, I've sat on a rock just downstream off me, looking up here, waiting to see something rise further up towards that bridge. I was just thinking to myself, actually, there's a few bugs here, like compared to what I've seen everywhere else, there's a, there are a few bugs kicking around and no sooner would I thought it than actually a fish has risen in the tail out, really not that far upstream of me. I've got to keep everything nice and low. I've got a tree behind me that's a pain. It's not great, that doesn't cover him. It's a pretty horrible cast as well, all in all. We'll forget that one. <laughs> there's a chance that there's a chance that might have totally done that fish first cast. Ooh, there's another fish a bit further up as well. Okay. Well, if I have just if I have just messed this one up, then maybe that's an option. It's not impossible, it's the same fish. It's definitely further up than the one I saw initially. And that should cover him if he's still there. It's landing like a brick. I might have to might have to add a little bit of tippet on there. Just wonder if I've got a bit of a breeze behind me here. Yeah, I'm just gonna extend that tippet out slightly and just give these fish a couple of minutes to chill out because a few of those casts really didn't land nicely at all. Okie doke. So that's about three feet of 7x put on the end of what I already had on, and I'm hoping it's just gonna there he is. I'm hoping it's just going to soften the drop on these flies a little bit because I'll be honest, there were a few really bad drops there. Got him, there we go. There we go. Oh, I have a feeling that might be grayling actually, is it? Yeah. Come on, bud. Let's get you in as quickly as we can. We'll get you back. Where are you? 
There we go, it's a long time of year for you, but a take hit and actually kind of justified the change in the tippet there as well because it landed much better. Well, there is absolutely no doubt about it. This last couple of hours has been absolutely rock hard and other than one little grayling, completely fruitless. I've spent a lot of time watching pools, waiting on pools, having a look, see if anything's going on. In truth, I'm seeing very little. Uh, in the whole walk up, I think I spooked one trout out of a tail out. It's probably sat in eight inches of water. I didn't know it was there until it was too late. But other than that, nothing has happened. Even I'm watching a beautiful pool now in front of me. Absolutely nothing has moved in here. Uh, one of the nice things about being in Derbyshire, right in the Peak District, is the rolling hills and the greenery and, you know, mountains and stuff like that. It's really pretty. Uh, but one thing you do get with that is it tends to go dark a little bit faster around here because the sun gets behind the hills a little bit faster. Uh, and it is starting to get a little bit dark. Don't get me wrong, if I swing around there and do that, it is still beautiful blue sky. Uh, but it is starting to go a little bit dark down on the river channel so i've made a bit of an executive and i think i'm going to have a walk back down towards where i started and see if i can perhaps find a riser or two in those pools because there seem to be more active fish down there it could be a time of day thing it, it could be a location thing i don't know but i'm seeing so little up here both in terms of fish and bugs that it, i just can't see any need to keep pressing on up here don't get me wrong there could be an absolute golden pool just around the corner but i've been saying that to myself now for two hours and, and it hasn't happened so i'm going to do that i'm going to get my skates i'm going to go back down to where i started and see if we can just find one more riser in one of those early pools because there were definitely fish there Righty, so i've walked back down i actually followed a hiking path rather than coming back down the river i followed a hiking path down and it took me about four minutes to, to get back from where i'd walked up to so i've covered very little ground today covered a lot of water but in terms of in terms of mileage i've done very little so i'm back in the first pool i've been here for about five minutes to be honest because i had some batteries to change i needed a drink and a quick snack bar and i haven't seen anything move yet in the area where i found those fish this morning i'm going to keep walking up slowly uh, i'm hoping to get to the area actually where i missed that other one i said miss where i bumped off that second one maybe there might be something happening there but at the moment it's pretty quiet i'll keep working up hopefully we'll find something up here okay so a fish has just flapped at a bug just on the inside in front of me i'll be honest i wasn't intending to fish this bit i was walking up to the next bit the fish has just flapped at something just in front of me here i've not had time to set up the main camera or anything i'm just going to give it a just going to give it a go from here that's a little bit to his right i reckon he's bang in the middle if he's still there I reckon he's bang in the middle. I am very close to this fish though. I'm still too far to the right there. It's not impossible to take it, but it's definitely not where the fish was. Let's try and get this a little bit more left. That's perfect. Let's see if he's still... Got him. Yes, he is still there. Oh my goodness. Right, so now I've got the, I've got the second camera <laughs> tucked between my legs. <laughs> I've got a fish on with this one. Oh my goodness, this is absolute chaos. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening it's a good fish as well and it's gone ballistic downstream off me i'm gonna have to ditch this second camera for the moment oh right let's see if we can make this work somehow that was an absolute chance capture total fluke i had no intention of trying to catch a fish from there i had no idea there was a fish there and just as i got close to this area it, ju it just flapped at a bug that went over it i think it missed the bug that it tried to it tried to catch but it gave me an opportunity to drop that cast in there oh crikey he jumps a lot i need to get somewhere where i can get the rod tip up to net this fish this is absolute chaos this has caught me totally by surprise i'll be honest the, the day is nearly done I've, I've run out of i've run out of options but all of a sudden oh goodness right he's taking line all of a sudden it's just a little snap cast and i'm into what feels like a really good fish Oh my god, yeah it is. It's a really big fish. It's a really good one. Right now I'm panicking. Now I'm really panicking. That caddis is just in the corner of his mouth. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Yes! Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's a stunner as well. What has just happened? I can't believe it. Guys, what a stroke of luck this was. This was not the fish I came up to catch. But I tell you what, I'll take him anyway. Absolute beauty. Look at that. Awesome fish. Alrighty, chap, let's get you back. Not before one last look. 
That is an absolute belter. Gorgeous buttery colours. Let's get him over the net. It's been super lively. There he goes. That's what it's about. Incredible fish. <laughs> I'll tell you what guys, I am absolutely pooped and battered and bruised from the bedrock. That has been difficult wading today. I know it only looks like a small stream, but the vast majority of it is that very slippy slaty stuff. You're never really sure what you're putting your feet on and it's been hard work. I'm definitely gonna have a few bruises tomorrow morning, but I tell you what, have I enjoyed that. It's been a little bit harder than I thought it was gonna be, although I must admit, I thought at the start of the day, I'll probably get two or three chances on a dry fly. And actually that's exactly what I had. I've been good enough to hit two out of the three. Uh, snuck one out on the micro streamer. That was a little bonus fish, but I really think that the, the technique that I thought was going to do the business today, the duo, it just hasn't happened. And I'd like to be able to explain why, but I can't. I, I just wonder if there are not enough bugs coming down this river at the moment for those fish to be sat in those feed lines and, and feeding on them. I tell you what, if all the fish are feeding in the same kind of areas that last fish I caught are feeding, it's no wonder I didn't see many today because I was not looking in places like that. That was four to six inches deep, fast riffle, tiny little pocket. I mean, I have not been fishing areas like that today. So if that's where they've been, it's no wonder I've struggled to find them. All in all, a lovely day. That last fish was a real bonus. Uh, to get back to here, to get back to the start, I actually had to walk past the car earlier. And I must admit, there was a little flicker of me that went, oh, just get back in the car, it's done today, it's not going to happen. And I just thought, you know, one last pull, one last look, 20 minutes, give it a go. And sure enough, you give it a go and that happens and it just totally vindicates the whole thing. I'm a big fan of the idea that you earn your own look. And I've definitely earned that final fish there just for, just for being willing to get back in there give it one last go, find one last fish, and there was one there for me. Folks, I really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please give it a like. If it's the kind of stuff that you and your mates are into, share it with a friend who you think might enjoy this vlog. Check out stuff like the merch on the web shop. I'm gonna put the web shop address just there if you want any hats and cool stuff like that. It'll all be in the web shop. Other than that, I, B and I are gonna catch you guys again very, very soon for some more fishing and stuff. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.